I was doing an inspection at a new complex last week that I had never been to before and saw that there were about a dozen redwood trees that were almost entirely brown. My name is Blair Glenn and I'm an ISA certified arborist. I spoke to the uh, man in charge of the landscape and he had indicated that these 12 trees were on recycled water. I was surprised by this comment because the lawns were quite green as well as many of the other plants. From a distance these trees would appear to be almost entirely dead. I looked up into the canopy and there was very very little green uh, on these trees at all. I'm not sure how much of the complex is being irrigated by the recycled water but um, I know a, a good section of it is. I attended a conference last year just on this subject and it appears that recycled water has a higher level of salinity in it than fresh water or tap water and uh, some trees and plants are, are highly sensitive to this higher level of salt. So redwood trees fall into this category. It also seems that there were little bits of life sprouting on these trees and the landscaper indicated that the trees are starting to show better signs right now but it has been raining for a while so these trees are getting flushed with a lot of fresh water from a natural source and as soon as it warms up again they're going to revert back to the, uh, the higher concentration of the recycled water. So I went over to the part of the complex that is using uh, tap water and the redwood trees over here look considerably better. It was actually a night and day difference. It was um, as if these trees were almost unaffected. So what this leads me to conclude is that if you have a complex that has recycled water as your irrigation source, you may want to uh, consider not using redwoods or other salt sensitive plants. I think recycled water is a, a great resource, but we have to choose wisely when we're um, optimizing this resource. Once again, my name is Blair Glenn, and I am an ISA certified arborist.